Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Happy Friday. I don't know if you can notice, but right now I'm missing some nails. So I was going to put the nails on before making the video. And then I figured right now all I'm going to be doing is just chatting with you guys because I figured it's Friday night and usually a lot of us might have been going somewhere and hanging out with friends and I know it could be quite lonely. I know I've been going through it so I wanted to just check in with you guys as you guys know that I like to do and um, drink my coffee, fix my ratchet nails and <laughs> um, you know just have a good time with you. All right. So. Let me take a seat. What are you guys drinking right now? Wine, coffee, orange juice. What's your go to drink during quarantine? Um, anyway, so this nail that I'm using, these nails, is Bring the Salon Home by Kiss. And it's masterpiece, one of a kind, Lux Nanny. Um, it comes with 30 nails, including 12 accent nails. Glue included. The glue is included. I've, um, I used to, when I, you know, was not doing MMA and jujitsu, um, do my nails all the time, like religiously. So it was like every two, every two weeks I would fix them, change the color, you know, get a fill in or whatever. Um, that was my that was my every that was my ritual throughout the month. That was something that I would always treat myself because you know everybody has their thing that they do to treat themselves. So um, I figured now during quarantine, I'm not rolling. Um, I'm not really doing anything like contact wise with anybody else, so I could kind of get away with doing my nails. Although once this is over, it's back to normal and. The nails come off, which honestly I'm very excited <laughs> for when that comes because as much as I love doing my nails, I damn sure love MMA. So it's honestly something that I can live without nails. You know? Anyway, finding the right nail size is kind of annoying. I found one. So, what's up? What you doing? Just relaxing. Um, you know, today was okay. Actually, today flew by. Like, I don't know how you feel about it, but this day went by so fast. Um, so I went to pick up my clothes from the laundry. Uh, it was my first time, like, getting them done by somebody else. And when I got them, yo, they know how to fold. Oh my God. So I used to work at J. Crew and Children's Place at um, one point in my life. So, like, I used to fold the way that they, oh my god, the way that they fold put my folding skills as a uh, sales associate to shame. Like, I was like, how the hell? Like, it was, like, perfect. Like, perfection. I'm like, wow. So, I don't know. I think I might become addicted to getting my clothes washed for me. But I don't want to become lazy. I'm not saying that you're lazy if you do that. I feel like a lot of people do, so don't kill me. Um, but I was like, wow, this is awesome. Like, just going and picking them up. And they were so sweet. Like, I brought them my own soap because I didn't know, like, if you needed soap. So I was just like, oh, um, I brought my own soap. I don't know if you need it. And they're like, if you want us to use your soap, I'm like, yes, if you, you don't mind because I don't want you to waste yours. So I don't know. I thought it was, you know, the right thing to do. But anyway, look how nice. It'll help to do that now too. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. So that was oh, and then after I did my clothes, what did I do? I came home. I started cleaning my house. Um, you know, like I mopped and stuff like that. And um, I played with McGregor's a little bit. My dog. And he's like super tired right now. I don't know why. Like, what did he do all day? Um. But yeah, and then I washed like a bunch of dishes. So I got um, new pots in the mail. And I just decided to wash them and then put them away. 
and um i did listen to some music i watched asmr who did i watch today i watched crystal asmr and then i watched um i watched not watched i watched glossy glossy asmr or, i don't know what she calls herself glossy and tingles gloss and tingles i don't know but she's gorgeous and i love her accent um i'm like a big sucker for accents so like anybody who does asmr with an accent i could go right to sleep watching that because it's just so soothing i love it yeah so i love accents so much not to say that i mean you know i just feel like every other language just sounds so pretty and i think maybe it's because you know i don't really have an accent that's flattering or like romantic sounding um so Crystal Yasamara is Brazilian. She has a beautiful accent. Glossy Tingles is, I think, from London. So, you know, she has that nice London British accent. I don't know if that's correct to say. But anyway, enough about me. Tell me more about Joe. Hold on. Like from far, don't they look like, like I really went and got them done? You wouldn't know. So I'm just like eight dollars, and then if they come off, you just fix it. But, um, this is called One in a Million. It's a 24-hour moisture uh, ultra shea body cream, and my hands are kind of like on the um dry side. I haven't really been putting on lotion, and there's really no excuse because I'm home all day like you should be lotion moisturized and super clean i would hope all of you are washing your little booties um but yeah don't allow this quarantine to get you into a depression and not like move around your apartment okay um i think that it's very important to try to keep moving as much as possible I have to admit, you know, I told you guys that I've been struggling when it comes to moving around and really just, you know, uh, doing my workouts and stuff. Like, oh my god, so I feel you, but don't lay in bed all day unless, like, you know, you're quarantined because you are sick right now or you are sick and you can't really move around that much. Um, but if you can try to get those legs moving. Even if it's in bed because you're too tired or too sick to get out of bed, move your little toes, you know, get some circulation going through those legs and your hands and, you know, simple things like moving your wrists, stretching, uh, uh, aftershave, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, just, you know, try to stay moving try to stay afloat it's hard i know it is hard it can get really quiet right like if you're not listening to music and you're not watching anything like i'd be like and if i don't hear my neighbors like upstairs i just be like what they doing i don't know but anyway check in on your friends too make sure you check in on your friends and your family um you know what I've been using a lot? Google Duo has been like so awesome because I've been able to talk to my family and friends. Google Duo, Google Duo. I have an iPhone, but you don't need an iPhone. You can just download. Um, I mean, you don't need um, Google. There was a point in what I was saying and I don't know what it is. But anyway, you don't need a Google phone or something like that to use Google Duo. You can use it, you can download it in your app store and um, talk to your friends, you know, video chatting. You gotta just keep yourself, you gotta keep yourself busy. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I can show you the kind of coffee I'm drinking actually. Sorry for the lipstick. Um, so, I have this coffee. From Starbucks. My best friend Kimmy brought this to me. It is Cafe Verona from Starbucks, and it's a roasty, sweet, and dark cocoa. Ah, I never even read this, but 
you know what that explains because i was like this kind of tastes like chocolate a little bit but I, I was thinking that it's because it's such a bold roast but it's really because it's dark cocoa it makes sense um so yeah it's a dark roast and it's a hundred percent arabica 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 coffee and i love this little logo by the starbucks actually fun fact i used to work at starbucks for like two years and um i worked like in the heart of the city and the building that i worked in was like a corporate building so you could just imagine the morning time that was like so terrible i used to hate it the rush we would get oh my lord jesus and you know it was crazy because i feel like starbucks like customers can either be really really sweet or really really freaking entitled it's like there's no in between or like crazy like there's crazy people like the people that come to starbucks very sweet very entitled or very crazy there's no in between there's only three types of customers very sweet very entitled and like can i have my um starbucks latte uh venti oh, wait i'm doing it wrong hold on i'll be the actual customer that i ha i had before can I please have a venti cappuccino extra foam iced a iced cappuccino? This is before they actually made that a drink. I was like, an iced cappuccino? Yes, extra foam, please. I'm like, you want me to make an iced cappuccino? Cappuccino, you have to foam the milk. So that means that I have to heat the milk up. But you want it iced? Like, I, I was just like, you know what? That's a ridiculous drink. You know how many times, like, people will be like, can I have half a pump of the skinny vanilla? I'm like, but why do you even need a, any part of the pump of the skinny vanilla anything? Half? Like, are you sure you don't want one-fourth? I just, I can't. But anyway, you could tell that I'm, like, so over. Like, yeah, no, no, I don't. I don't hold grudges. <laughs> um, no, it's not even like that job. I give it to anybody who works like for Starbucks or, you know, um, any, honestly, any kind of food um, service is hard. It's hard because of the, you know, you never know what kind of customer you're going to get. And also, it's so fast-paced, so I'm not really somebody who loves the idea of having to rush making something. Um, I don't rush anything. I really don't like to rush anything. I don't like to rush my makeup. I don't like to rush doing my hair. I don't like rushing showers. I don't like rush. I don't like to... I rush to work every day. Like, when quarantine is over, I'm going to go back to my basics. I'm going to go back to running to work. That's just a thing that I do. I run to work. I just run I because I'm always right on time. And, you know, that's not really the best thing to do. But that's just me. But everything else, I'm not rushing. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. Anyway. Um... So yeah, I give it to everybody who works like in any type of serving jobs. It's very difficult. It's so hard. Um, and I did not enjoy it. I mean, I had my moments. It had its days. Like, I love certain customers. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I met a Jonas brother, actually. Kevin? Jonas? I met a Jonas brother when I was working there. And it was cute because um, he came in like early in the morning. And I remember when I saw him, I was like, oh, shoot, that's a Jonas brother. And I had my songbook because you guys know that I'm a singer. So um, I went up to him and I was like, do you mind signing my songbook? You know, it would, it would mean a lot. I still have that songbook. And I just thought it was cool. It's like, oh, shoot, like, you know, you're closer to people than you think. Like, you know, we're all connected. Celebrities, whatever, they're humans, you know. So it was like kind of cool that he you know signed it and he was just like you know keep writing some shit but it was cute it was cute it was cute whatever and he's so funny um but yeah uh what else what else what else what are you doing are you awake are you sleeping if you are still awake at this moment drop a heart in the comments because uh, i'm 
I'm so happy that we are out here hanging out. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. It's weird. But it's an okay time because I feel like we have a lot of time to self-reflect and to get up to know ourselves. And to also just community, like to connect with people on a different level. Um, in different types of platforms and stuff like that. It's very cool. We can really utilize this time, um and work with it you know don't work against it don't work against yourself don't isolate yourself any more than you already are isolated you know social distancing doesn't mean distance yourself in such a way that you are isolated completely and alone i don't want you guys to feel alone because it is just oh my god loneliness is it, it's a killer loneliness can kill me and i don't want to be lonely so i like that's why i'm so grateful for you guys um for real you guys are like you mean a lot to me and i think i made that kind of clear um but yeah i don't know i'll probably make another video today i don't know what i'm gonna do like i'm kind of not to say that i'm running out of ideas but i'm trying to think like let me know what you guys not i'm sorry actually i want to make clear a message i don't know if everybody's going to be seeing this part but i'll try to write it in the comments please do not take offense if i do not do um some of your requests it is not personal i'm trying to keep this channel as genuine as possible to who i am as an artist creator a smartest person so if i feel like you're um request doesn't necessarily match who i am not to say that it's a bad thing because we're all different what i'm saying is please please don't take it personal it's not you and it's nothing personal at all it's just i really really like being genuine and authentically myself in this platform on this channel because that is who i am as a person all the time so that is the that and also sometimes I forget if you have requested something from now on I'll write them down and then I'll see if it if it goes with what I'm trying to do on this channel of course I got you but if not please don't take it personal okay I love you guys you know this um with that being said I'm going to end this video and I'm gonna start brainstorming of what i'm gonna do next because it's friday night and i want to make sure that if this video didn't give you all the tingles that you need that the next video that i post does so i will see you soon what you doing yeah okay great